Hey, it's Friday morning. That means it's time to feature another cool school. Today we're showcasing Crex Academy of Aerospace and Engineering in Bloomfield. Channel 3's Mark Dixon has more with students working on a digi digital engineering project. Yay, cool schools. Present a problem, create a design brief. We will follow a design process to follow that project through all the way to the end. Their problem or task in this yeah. digital engineering class to create a product. They can either make a juice carton or they can make a chewing gum package. They make prototypes, refining them to make them better, covering a lot of ground along the way. Engineering design process, so to go from brainstorming an idea to researching and then designing it and then getting the final product out and also typography and color schemes. Kayla's product, a gum that provides extra energy. Working at their own pace in different stages, they're self-guided. Kind of a combination between technology and visual design. So we take those elements together to try to communicate to the world like a real life situation. Okay. So everything here is hands-on. Basically you get to see what uh, a lot of companies do, you know, behind the scenes. And it's a cool process. You can understand you look at the wor your world in a different way. You understand uh, the process that goes behind everything. Students are learning real-world software. Right now they're working in Adobe Photoshop, making most of their designs. So they have to learn how to set the typography, learn how to set the graphics, and use grids and make sure that everything's aligned and that when we go to print it, they can refine their ideas for their final product to make sure that it works. And I guess because for cool schools, last Mark Dixon, Channel Three, Eyewitness News. We went to the Kematic Center. We just, you know, we see how they build the, you know, parts like how the airplane wings. That's Brian, one of several eighth graders we caught up with during a visit to Command Corporation. So we have uh, students from the Air Academy of Aerospace and Engineering, which is right here across the street from the Command campus, uh, come visit us every two weeks, and we take them through our facility. A mentorship program is a natural fit, that's for sure. We get tours around the facility, and our mentors tell us about the equipment here, and we just learn about engineering. Through a hands-on approach, they enable students to see if this is a field of study they should pursue. A group of kids come in with the mentors and they walk around the different facilities and we talk about technology, we talk about job opportunities. It's an experience for engineers, future engineers, to come see what engineers that are what engineers are doing now. Know that we can be in their position in the future. And we have a couple of girls in this group. I think that's awesome because there aren't many women in the fields and for us to come here it's a great opportunity. The program is now in its third year. Because we have such great technology that we can share with the, with the young people and show them a manufacturing facility and an engineering facility right here in Connecticut uh, thriving. Cool schools! Yes, they are. Mark Dixon, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. You probably all know us by now, but just in case, my name is Artem. My name is Cole. Trayon. My name is Liz. And I'm Kyla. These eighth grade students are web leaders. It stands for Where Everybody Belongs. It's a middle school transition program. It's new this year. Eighth graders had to apply. The program helps integrate new students arriving from over 25 towns. They are helping to transition our new incoming sixth graders. They do a big orientation at the beginning of the year, and now they come in every month and do a lesson with our sixth graders. And to help them learn the skills needed to continue through their middle school years and eventually their high school years. While they meet, they address a variety of topics. They've had different focuses where we've done how to stay focused, how to manage your time. The one coming up this month is going to be how to relax before tests. The session starts with the pledge. I, I, I agree, agree, agree to these agreements. To these agreements. And we're all awesome. And we're all awesome. Then, given this is a STEM school, there is attention to engineering. So the sixth graders were given a team building activity to build a card tower. I want you guys to decide who's going to be the builders and who's going to be the commanders and who's going to be the leaders. They're given five minutes to make a tower. But Remember guys, some people may have different strengths than others, so it's important to recognize these and see who will fit most accordingly. Fast forward to the end. We were supposed to build a car tower. Uh, the goal they said was to who could build the tallest tower, but their real goal was to see who could work together. Eden is certainly on to something. For Cool Schools, Mark Dixon, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. With the music program, they are building musical instruments based off of uh, repurposed materials and understanding how uh, different harmonic series work. The program is in its second year. So the sixth graders made percussion instruments, the seventh graders made string instruments, and the eighth grade have to make wind instruments. 
Students get four weeks following the design process. They're identifying and figuring out what exactly they're going to make, and then they have to use uh, computer software. Right now we use Google SketchUp or Autodesk, and they have to create a 3D model prototype. We got our um, assignment to work on a percussion instrument, and I chose the xylophone because, you know, it's one of the coolest percussion instruments. Since they're creating their own instruments, they get to name them. This instrument is called the digibone, or it's a cross or blend of a didgeridoo and a trombone. So it's got the harmonics or tone to it as a didgeridoo, but it's got the shape and feel of a trombone. It includes a custom mouthpiece made using a 3D printer. <laughs> Along the way, there is plenty of problem solving and trial and error. We would have had like a long sort of strip, maybe closer together, so you don't have to move your like head a lot, and then it could be more efficient. So how does this project wrap up? At the end of this, they'll actually end up recording on the computer using microphones, and then they'll mix it to make it sound the way that they want to. Also, the best instrument from each grade gets to be produced by the 3D printer. For Cool Schools, Mark Dixon, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. All right, well, if you missed any of today's segments for Cool Schools, you can find them online at WFSB.com. While you're there, you can also nominate a school to be featured in our Cool Schools segment. We do have a few spots available for this semester.